What's going on guys? It's GBP baby. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody's doing well and today's video is going to be quite quick just because I'm away from home right now but we'll get straight into things. So you'll see on Dala we did have a consolidated day today on Wednesday just as anticipated. We stayed within a very tight range and didn't quite trade lower which is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. So it'll be interesting to, interesting to see if tomorrow we do manage to reach down into that um, Tuesday low which I was talking about as I'm still not convinced that that is the low of the week. Bear in mind we do tomorrow have high impact news so that might they, that, that should help us drive price lower and again I'd expect if we do man manage to take out Tuesday's low I'd like to see us fill this fair value gap imbalance right here and then we see a turnaround with an expectation to trade higher for the rest of the week. On, four hour, on the 4 hour you can see how we consolidated around the midpoint of this wick. This is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it now. But you'll see just standard Wednesday price action really. A lot of back and forth price action building up orders, taking a lot of people out. But I'd like to think that we can trade down through this four hour fair value gap. And then once we're below that, then we can start targeting that low. If this fair value gap manages to provide support, so if we fail, if like price stays above here and we just, you know, wick into it, then we likely will trade higher. But until then, I'm looking and waiting and expecting and anticipating price to trade through it and then treat this as resistance for us to run into that south side and into this fair value gap. On the one hour, you can see again the heavy consolidation, very ugly environments. This is why I was saying I'm probably not going to be trading today purely because it's just very choppy and you can see how range bound we are. But again, I'm still expecting us to trade lower. There's that swing low. And again, we've now created a loan on the Wednesday as well, right here. So there's going to be a lot of sell stops and sell side liquidity below here. So we could use that to draw um, as a draw on liquidity moving into London session in the morning and then uh, potentially New York as well. Let's now go over to GBP USD. We'll start on the daily. Again, very consolidated. We didn't reach our buy side target. In fact, we never really traded anywhere near it. So moving into tomorrow, we're going to set two targets up. I now have the midpoint of this wick as, as the first target. And I'll just make this red and dashed. And then we also have now that buy side liquidity, which I, I drew our attention to yesterday. So on the four hour, you can see we've had just a slight expansion after trading to this bullish order block. But you can see how long we've spent at that bullish order block. This is four, eight, twelve, nearly 16 hours we've been trading around this order block level. And only now are we seeing some kind of expansion away from that. So I want to see, can we trade up to that 50% level off this wick? If so, can we find support and run into that buy side liquidity and running out these highs like I spoke about in yesterday's video? And obviously as GBP trades higher into that, I'll be expecting dollar to trade lower into this sell side target. Now the only reason I'm so not set so set on wanting to see low prices is, is because I'm just not convinced that this Tuesday's swing right here, I'm just not convinced it's the low of the week. Like it doesn't look like a low of the week to me, which is why I'm convinced that price is going to want to draw there. But obviously we're going to have to wait and see. Um so yeah, here's the 15 minute on GBP USD back and forth price action. This is midnight candle, we came lower. Um, and now we're running towards the highs created in the New York session. And if that's the case, then like I said, we can start thinking about looking at Tuesday's high as a potential draw with that um, swing high above here to get traded to as well. Euro to finish off, um, we'll start on the daily. Again, very similar price action. We have, I, I, am, I am going to mark out the midpoint of this week as well as a draw for price. We came lower, took out Tuesday's low. Whether we're gonna take out Tuesday's high is questionable purely because we've already filled this fair value gap. But if GBP is to trade higher and dollar is to trade lower, I'd like to see Euro at least trade to the 50% of this wick right here. So let's go to the four hour. And you can see there's a four hour fair value gap, which should act as an inversion fair value gap because price delivered on the downside. But if we are bullish enough, price should manage to reach now up above, trade into this swing high right here, created today. Um, just after the, after the London session, so we can put buy side liquidity above there. And then we have this fair value gap to fill in as well, assuming we are going to respect that consequent encroachment of the daily. If price gets overzealous, it will simply trade above there. We'll, we will see that it finds support on this level and we can start looking at this high and this high to get ran. But like I said, similar to GBP USD, this is our first target. So we should only keep our eyes set on here as our first target and then we should reevaluate price and see do we want do we want to see it then trade to the next level. Let's go to the one hour. Again, traded lower. I ran out some sell stops below uh, the Asia lows. 
coming back into this range remember this is an order block right here we have a breaker low high low low but you can see we're very deep inside of that which is not the best price action and this is typical for Wednesdays though to see this kind of consolidation so I'm not really too surprised but tomorrow should be a good trading day in terms of setups with the expectation to run higher so that's going to be everything guys thanks for watching um, I am here with my nephew and he's going to give you guys a message remember to like and subscribe you heard him so thanks for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow peace